the literary technique of foreshadowing. So foreshadowing is when the author hints at what is to come. It contributes to the suspense in a book and it helps readers gain an awareness of what will happen next. Steinbeck uses a lot of foreshadowing in Of Mice and Men. One of the main things is in helping us realize Lenny's violent nature and that maybe something really bad could happen by the end of the novel. In the beginning, in the first example there, uh, it is the first th time we hear that Lenny has done something bad. Lenny looked sadly up at him. They were so little, he said apologetically. I'd pet them and pretty soon they bit my fingers and I pinched their little, their heads a little and then they was dead because they was so little. So here we find out that he accidentally kills mice. Is it an accident or is this a problem that he has? Later, uh, George is talking to one of the ranch hands and explaining how they got in trouble up in the weed. He just scared her. I'd be scared too if he grabbed me, but he never hurt her. He just wanted to touch that red dress like he wants to pet them pups all the time. In this example, it's foreshadowing this possible problem that we find out happened in section five, the problem with being violent to a woman. So uh, this is a really big thing of foreshadowing for the story. Uh, a little bit later, uh, after you know the pups show up and Lenny's really excited about the pups, Crooks comes back, comes in and tells George, that big new guy's messing around your pups out in the barn. You know, so again, you know, even the guys start to realize that maybe he might not be so gentle with creatures. And Lenny says, I ain't done nothing, George. Slim says I better not pet them pups so much for a while. Slim says it ain't no good for them. So I come right in. I've been good, George. And do you think at this point, you know, Lenny having to convince George that he's being good shows foreshadows maybe that he makes mistakes and he has this problem with hurting animals. So um, all of these things foreshadow the fact that he's becoming more and more violent. He eventually kills his own pup and then that leads to the murder of Curly's wife. Did you figure that out? Did you predict that and pick up on the hints earlier in the novel, the foreshadowing that the author did? There's also foreshadowing about um, who the person was that was going to be killed. Curly's wife. Curly's wife is the only character that doesn't have a name. So was she an expendable character right from the start? Was she a character that, you know, was the fact that she didn't have a name something that foreshadowed that she would be the one who gets killed in the end? And also there's a point where George is talking to Lenny and, Lenny and he says, well, you keep away from her because she's a rat trap if I ever seen one. So even George knows at this point that Curly's wife could be a problem, and this is a moment of foreshadowing in the novel. So the literary technique of foreshadowing is a really important one. The writers use it all the time to give us little clues and hints at what, what is to come and um, help to build suspense.